Good afternoon. It's Monday, March 7th, 2011. I'm Jill Sealand with your Earner Mary Mark Report, sponsored by Packers Marketing Systems Incorporated. Today, foodmarket.com is reporting new guidance practices for sampling, lotting, and testing beef products were released this week at the 9th Annual Beef Industry Food Safety Summit. Hosted by the Beef Industry Food Safety Council, funded in part by the Beef Checkoff Program. The new guidance document for sampling and lotting of beef products and sample analysis for pathogens will assist beef processing companies in implementing proven pathogen testing programs as part of a multiple hurdle food safety system aimed at advancing beef safety. You can get more on this story and other news from the center of the plate at foodmarket.com. Now let's check out the markets. In the egg market, retail demand remains only fair. Supplies of extra large and large are fully adequate to available. The market is quiet but under pressure. Certified breaking eggs are, at times, trading above current ranges. In reviewing Erner Berry's Weekly Insider's report released last Friday evening on Comtel, we find box beef cutouts inched higher as last week progressed, following the previous week's rather hefty gains in the value of the carcass. End cuts were mostly steady throughout last week. Middle meats posted some gains, finding some renewed strength as the week came to a close. Varied undertones developed for thin meats, with lifter and pectoral meat drifting lower, while ball tips and tri tips found some renewed strength. In the boneless market, fresh 50s were up about 5.5% last week. The strength in the market is attributed to an increase in demand. Fresh 90s were mixed last week as supplies varied noticeably from region to region. Taking a look at pork, wholesale values eroded last week, led by declines in hams and retail pork products. Last week, total pork production was 1.6% above the previous week and 1.3% above the same week a year ago. Sellers of fresh pork entered last week with quite a bit of meat available for sale in both spot and forward time frames. Buyers have and continue to operate in a mostly hand-to-mouth fashion. Still, most loin products values traded in a very narrow range and consistent with the previous Friday's close. The only notable exception was the erosion of sirloin values due to a dismal call. In the poultry market, the chicken complex tightened up considerably starting out the first week of March. First of the month activity, lighter birds and overall performance being down, as well as opportunities stemming from higher beef and pork cuts are contributing factors for this overall improvement. The reality of $7 corn is forcing the industry to reevaluate their need to increase production in light of these higher input costs. Talking turkey, the bulk of the market is in stable to better shape at the end of last week with requiring just some touch-up work. Wings, necks, and MST advanced late in the week under considerably limited levels of availability and active demand patterns. There were also confirmed trades of wings well above previously listed levels. As of Friday, whole birds were well supported both for spot business as well as long-term ship dates. We'll wrap things up this afternoon with a look at market indices. Last week, beef was up 1.8 percent, pork was down 1.7 percent, chicken up 2.6 percent, turkey up 0.4 percent, and the egg index was down 7 percent. That's your Earner Berry Market Report brought to you today by Packers Marketing Systems Incorporated, a family business marketing imported and domestic boneless beef since 1974. Call today at 714-577-4920.